disregarding the five minutes in between goals before Restrepo scored mm -hmm. and tied the match. Both teams were pretty similar in the style of play and both had quality chances. Was it challenging at all? Yeah, I mean, I was just saying the first half was, uh, it was a weird half. Uh, I felt like every time we had the ball, we were dangerous. And I felt like every time they had the ball, they were dangerous. <laughs> so not not how you, you draw it up, that's for sure. Uh, but we came in at halftime and addressed a couple things and, and went out there. And the second half, I thought, was, was very good from the guys. And ultimately, that's what led to us getting a victory. I mean, I think we should have probably scored. A, it should have been 3-1, but, um, you know, we'll take a victory against a good Minnesota team uh, and a congested week, you know, that we just played two days ago, three days ago. So uh, we got two wins at home, which is important to always win at home. And now we have to finish up the tough week against the team we just played, <laughs> which is always difficult <laughs> uh, facing a team two times in a week. Um, so it'll be difficult, but it's been a good week so far, and hopefully we can finish that off on uh, Saturday. Halftime. What did Coach Gio say during halftime? No, he said, you know, we, we had some opportunities. Obviously, uh, he, we thought the game was too open, so we wanted to kind of try to limit that and do a little bit better job of being organized and, and not giving them some opportunities. And I, like I said, I think we did a good job of that in the second half and obviously came out with the three points. So uh, at halftime, it was just one of those things where, you know, keep playing, keep, uh, keep the confidence up, but be a little bit more organized. Now, we dealt with a lot of adversity in this game. How do you think the guys deal with adversity? Yeah, I mean, that's that's part of the job. Obviously, uh, I think we have a very deep team and everyone did a great job. And in this league, every game is difficult, very tight. And, you, you know, you're playing a lot of matches close, especially this week for us. So it's a, it's a big week. We'll need everybody. And uh, we're excited for the challenge. Now, I want to personally know, <laughs> what gave you the confidence to look up and strike that ball? Because that was a quality ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's reps and... and, and practice you know I hit balls like that and practice all the time and nobody gets to see now that. bouncing ball that takes a lot of concentration um, you know initially when the ball was getting served in I was just trying to put myself in a spot where maybe the ball comes and uh, you can do that a million times and the ball never will come to you but I saw the ball coming to me and my first thought was to hit it first time because I wasn't sure I'd have enough time to, to take a touch but I was kind of backpedaling and I was afraid if I hit it first time, it'd probably go over the building behind the goal. So <laughs> I just took my chance, uh, you know, to take a, hopefully a good first touch. Um, and it kind of bounced up, like you said. And I just tried to wait, you know, long enough to, to let it drop, but <laughs> not lo too long <laughs> so that they could come block it. And yeah, as soon as I hit it, uh, I, I knew it was a goal. My only worry was maybe it was going to hit the crossbar. But I mean, when you hit the ball like that, it's, you know, you know. You know. <laughs> now, do you keep. Do you think you're going to keep that momentum going? Are you going to score in the next game? <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone's saying. Uh, <laughs> for me, a defender, one one goal in one game is a streak. So two goals in two games in three days, uh, of course, it's a streak. So, uh, no, nah, look, I don't, ex I don't expect to go score. Well, I believe in you. And if you score, you look at the sidelines, just point at me. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I told you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because uh, before the game on Sunday, I told uh, Dane Murphy, our head scout, at practice on Saturday that I was going to score. I said, I don't know how, but I'm going to score. <laughs> and it was pretty fitting the type of goal I scored in that game. Uh, as everyone knows, it was a shot, of course. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but tonight, of course, I wasn't expecting to score, but um, you got to take your chance when you can.